Hey everybody, my name is Jason Huggins, the real cool guy. And today I want to talk to you about something that everybody in voice acting does, or everybody who's not Don LaFontaine in voice acting does at some point, and that is edit audio. Today we're going to be editing audio in Adobe Audition CS6, and I'm going to be showing you how to remove pops and clicks and mouth noise, even from within the middle of a word. So we're going to start out, and we're just going to jump right into it. I've created a waveform audio file. This is a mono 44.1K uh, um, audio file, and I've got it ready to roll. Just call it a test for the sake of it. And we are going to read a little excerpt from an audio book. And I got it on the other screen over here. Um, so I'm going to read that, and then we're going to go through and we're going to edit it. Um, for the sake of uh, example, I'm going to put this right all up on my mouth so that hopefully I can get some. I'm going to drink some coffee too. Hopefully I can get a lot of noise in there. I'm going to try and keep my mouth really wet and I wouldn't normally do this. Here we go. <clears throat> Those days were over now. Retired for the past three years, Brian was left to wrestle with his truck, which had only run all these years because Brian was more stubborn than it was. The red... The red and white 1958 Dodge Swepside pickup truck was incredibly rare. A gift from Jerry, his late older brother. A gift from Jerry, his late older brother. Though Brian was hardly a mechanic, he had always been fascinated by machines. His smart-as-a-whip mind, which had served him so well as a soldier and coach, loved the challenge of analyzing, disassembling, and reassembling. Every part fitting, every part working. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. <clears throat> that was good coffee. So, like I said, we're going to remove pops and clicks. First, I like to do this. When I record audio, I make that noise with my mouth just to symbolize an error, uh, a mistake or an error. And I'm going to cut those out. The red and... And I got one right here. A gift... A gift from prayer a gift from jerry his and i think that was it all right so that was it now we're going to go through and analyze the audio we're going to get rid of the pops and clicks and to do this we're going to go into adobe auditions spectral view i don't know when that was introduced but it's in there so you can see there's a little bit of noise here that's a breath the start of a breath we can highlight that this little section here and i'm going to hit uh i have it programmed for f is auto heal but that's just the way i do it and that will get rid of it. It leaves the noise floor there, um, but it also gets rid of the audio that we don't want. Now we can go through and just look at it, but why don't we go through and listen and see if we can find some pops and clicks in the audio. Those days were over now. Retired for the past three years. There was a little bit in there. Right here. <clears throat> you can see right there, right there. That's an irregularity in the audio. Now what you would do before, and some people still do now, is is highlight that and delete it and that works except for that shortens the word a little bit I prefer to auto heal it because you can clean up the word without shortening it three years Brian was left to wrestle with his truck which it only and you can also auto heal s's that right there that's an intense s now you can get a de -er in there but if it's just one little one-off thing you can do that and listen it's three years Brian was left to Not wrestle bad. with his truck which it only no we heard a little no in the end there I didn't like it so we'll get rid of that and that and that let's listen to it again this truck which had only run all these years because Brian was more stubborn than it was the red now you hear that little pop before the breath that we can get rid of and that the red and white 1958 Dodge Swepside pickup truck was incredibly rare. A gift from there's another little one right there. We'll get rid of it with the auto heal. Be rare. A gift from Jerry, his late older brother. Though Brian was hardly a mechanic, he had always been fascinated by machines. His smart as a whip mind, which had served him so well as a soldier and coach. There's a little bit of a as a soldier there. and you can see it in there. There it is right here, and right here, and we can get rid of that. As a soldier and coach. Now we got a little bit in there for sure. That and that. Which loved the There's another little bit here. Now you can just highlight and get rid of. The other way you can do it is if you use the, uh, right here it is the 
spot healing brush tool. You can hit B to get to it. Um, and then you will just paint over top of the irregularity and then let go and it'll go away. Loved the challenge of analyzing. This is, ooh, there was a noise right there. I think that was the heater in my room over here. But we can uh, highlight it, get rid of it right here. A little pop. This is, we'll get rid of that too. Disassembling and reassembling. And there's a little pop right there. Get rid of it. Every, and there was a, right in the beginning. So we will highlight and get rid of that. Sometimes it doesn't want to if it's right next to audio. Every part fitting, every part. And there's a little bit more right there too. So we can highlight that, knock it out. Fitting, every part working. And there's a little, that was the space at the end, you could see. Um, and so we'll get rid of that too. Every part. There it is. Now we've got the whole thing cleaned up. Now you can just save the audio file and it's all cleaned up. That's all there is to it. Adobe Audition CS6, and that is how you remove pops and clicks from the audio. Check my website out, therealcoolguy.com. My name is Jason Huggins.